If three mana Elder Gargaroth, or two mana Of course, they had to slip it in to make it gruel to make it a hundred yep. times better. Yep. Man, you get their own Manglehorn. You know, imagine Azuri's predation with this, because each one enters as a 5-5, five, five, not a 4-4, four, because four, they enter with an additional plus one counter on it. Mm-hmm. Well, the world Derek, reality. if you put... Is Vigor a beast? Or is it elemental? No, it's an avatar. Avatar, that's what it or is. Or whatever. Vigor with this and the fight ability is really good. Does that work like that or no? <laughs> Does fighting uh, work with Vigor? Yeah. I'm double check. Yeah, Vigor's, Vigor's whenever they take damage. If damage would be dealt to another creature you control, prevent that damage. Yeah. So yeah. Vigor would be really good in that deck, because then you can actually use the fighting. Hey, and that Nylena's Forerunner, that new creature that gives them all trample, is also a beast. Ew. Cultivator Colossus is a beast. Hold on, I'm, I'm curious. Gem Razor is a beast. There, there, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of really cool beasts. Plus, they had some new beasts There's before. There's 327 that beasts? Yeah. Holy that wo shit. That wolf one up there is actually not too bad either, the green one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let, Gives me, your commanders hold on oh. let, me, let me fix this. Hold on. Uh, yeah, let's just start up a new deck. You know, if we're already here. Oh, you want to make uh, you want to make the, yeah, the let's beast just, one? Let's just, let's just mess with it real quick. Even if we don't, I eh, probably can finish it. It's green. It's mostly green with a splash of red. What are we going to call it? The beast mode. <laughs> Just beast mode. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. So what is it called? Slinza? Slinza. Also, the new loot is uh, is a beast. And we have actually oh, a beast did specific. I accidentally, hold on. Did I accidentally? Yep. Hold on. Let me make sure I didn't just do something stupid. Hold on. Okay. I didn't make two decks. Okay, good. Okay, and we're looking for Salinza. And again, probably not gonna be like super crazy. Probably no combos. Probably just gonna be uh, there's a Z. Yeah. Probably just like a a for, more for fun Z, just okay. beast tribal deck. Okay. So but one of the one of the cool new cards is Woodland Liege. Okay. So. Hold on. I okay. sound like a beast. Yes. Uh... Ooh, it's in the top. Oh, it's his name. Oh, yeah. <sighs> There's a lot. What was the one you said? Uh, well, the uh, the first, well, the first, the the one is isn't actually. It's uh, it's a three mana creature that whenever a beast enters, draw a card. It doesn't say non-token beast either. There's a lot of beasts. All right, let's not let's not do this. I'm gonna clear. Yeah. Okay. So what is it called? So it's called Woodland Liege. Gotcha. But yeah, that's just look at it. It doesn't. Is it doesn't say. Bellor? Yeah, I know this because. Wait, that's also. Imagine that with rampaging Bayloths because those are all beasts that enter. Woodland Bellower's a beast. Crater Host yeah, a beast. Yeah, rampaging Bayloth is a beast. Elder Gargaroth. Uh, the new loot, loot exuberant explorer that lets you play an additional land. Hold on, Bayloths, Elder Gargi. Uh, what, what, what was the one you said? That uh, loot, loot exuberant explorer. This I'm one? waiting until, uh, yeah, I'm that's so, that thing, yeah. Uh, Kona Rescue Beastie. 
He's actually a cool effect. He's uh, he, this is the thing that's breaking st stuff in standard that's letting people like turn three omniscience. Mm -hmm. I guess this is an unnatural growth, and mm -hmm. uh, so Pandrel. Oh, we gotta get our elder elder Gargi and questing beach beast. I think I got elder, but definitely questing beast. Oh, uh, Wirewood Savage. Whenever a beast enters the battlefield, you may draw a card. It's just another one. So we have two specific cards for the deck that we don't normally get to run because <laughs> um, Crozen Warchief is beast cost one less to cast and then regenerate target beast. Ooh. Also, uh, Thunder Thunderfoot Bailoth is also really cool. Because it gives all of our creatures plus two, plus two, and trample. Is Terastodon a beast? No, it's Elephant. Because Elephant is actually a thing. Uh, Garruk's Pack Leader. I was just thinking that. And this is probably a Garruk's Uprising deck. Oh, tribute. yeah. Funny thing is that a lot of the beasts already have trample, so it's just for the draw effect, though. We could also play Tribute to the World Tree. <laughs> Quartzwood Crasher. After you get that. Quartzwood Crasher? Quartzwood. Top one, yeah. It's a di it was a dinosaur. I don't know if you play it. I played in dinosaurs, yes. It's fucking yeah. insane. Uh, uh, Harold, it's based uh, on it's the hard. total trample that you deal to a player. Yeah. And it's for each opponent. So if you deal like 20 to one player, you make a 20-20. You deal 20 to another player, you make a 20-20. Uh, what's the other one you said? Uh, Herald of Ilharg. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you put two counters on it. Then uh, if that spell had a mana value of five or greater, it deals damage equal to the number of counters on it to each opponent. So it just becomes... Mm -hmm. uh, Spear Breaker Behemoth. You know what's also a really cool beast that we have? Uh, it's a spear, as in like uh, like, a, like a pointy spear. spear. But you just saw the next one. Yeah, you got it right there. And then Spellbreaker Behemoth. We have a can't be countered beast. Uh, Siege Behemoth. You want it unblockable? Let's go. Read that, bitch. Uh, as long as Siege Behemoth is attacking, for each creature you control, you may have this creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. Gross. Yeah. Uh, oh. Manglehorn? We get to run Manglehorn? Definitely an overwhelming stampede. <clears throat> Manglehorn? Yep. That's one um, mana? Yeah. Azuri's Predation, because they're all beasts, so they all enter with the counter. Also, one of them is worded uh, uh, that it's whenever a beast enters, so it does work with the tokens. Uh, Fang Ren Firstborn. This is an old, this is an old one. There it is, third from the top. Whenever it attacks, you put a plus one counter on each attacking creature. Okay. Um, we got Woodland Bellower, right? I think. Yes. Uh, this is definitely a Savala. Heart of the Wilds. Oh, you could play uh, Gem Razor. Car resurgent. Gem Razor, that sounds good. Oh, there's a lot of beasts from uh, that set. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, the Mutate? Yes. Um, and they would all cost two less. Indric, uh, Stomplower. It's just a, a beast that, that enters. Spell it. It's 
I I N D. Intrick. Uh, How do you... Yeah, R I K. Yeah, top one. That one. Stomp. Yeah, just a beast that destroys an artifact or enchantment that when it ETBs. Cool. We can also Basically. play some of the mutates. Yeah, we can. Um, yes. Isn't there uh, a six mana like destroy any permanent that's mutate? And then there's like a three mana ramp a land, right? Those are all beasts, right? Most uh, of the core is beasts, right? Yeah, uh, why look up the mutates? Look up Uvenwald Oddity. Yes. Great card. Is that thing on the other side? Um, yes. Uh, Auspacious Sterix is the whenever this mutates, exile cards and type your library into exile X permanent cards for X the number of times the creatures mutated. Put those into the battlefield. Uh, spell it. Uh, A U S. I I got it. Do we want this one though? I mean, it's at least one free thing. Okay. And it puts it into play. Which is yeah. really good. Uh, but then there's like a a three mana one that gets a land, or like a four mana one that gets a land. No, there's a three mana one that gets a land, and there's one that like pops a permanent. Yeah, uh, that's that was a spider. Uh, yeah, migratory great horn. It is a beast. Yep. Yeah, and I think there's one that pops uh, a permanent. Yeah, beasts within. Well, well, we have to play that for flavor. Yep, but... and it's saw it's saw tusk demolisher. Yeah, Thank it you. is a beast. Yeah, I told you most of that set was beast. Yep, and those are all the ones that we can play. Well, I actually, um, and they cost a lot less, so they're actually good. Uh, that, the red one is kind of poopy. Are you looking at the mutate? Yeah, Phoenix isn't a beast. And there's a small one that just when it mutates, you put a plus one counter on that creature and gain two life. No, I'm not a fan of that one. No, I don't like that one. We have one that gives plus yeah, no, one every time. I think that's, yeah, yeah I think those that's are the, the mutate ones I was talking about. So we got the good ones. So the other one is this Anara. is also a six six trample. Yeah. Like that's also just like a four mana. So Anar ha Anara. It's Anara. It's a it's a legendary. It's a wolf beast. Wolf is long... familiar, or it's yeah, just... yeah, familiar. So as long as your turn, commanders you control have indestructible, which which helps on the the fighting aspect oh, or just going. We forgot vigor. Yes, because we talked about the with the commander. Mm hmm. Nice. Uh, Sorak and Gorklaw. Oh no, we're 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 red. Do we still want that, or do we uh, want to run uh, a red haste enabler like a rhythm or like a? I, I like I like rhythm. I think the lower cost of ones are better. Uh, so rhythm would be good. R Y T H. And is there another one, or is one fine? Um, also, look at the look at this art. It's very beasty. Yeah. Oh my god. We also could have called the deck Beastie Boys. Um. So I, I saw some people have been messing with Banner of Kinship. But I don't think this deck needs it. No. Uh, what's the Broken Land? Three. Tree something oh, three, three, three 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 tree yeah. city. Yep, and we can play a cavern. Uh, we can play a path of ancestry. Uh, and then do we want to play yep. the other ones, or it doesn't matter? We're two colors. Yo, are we I don't think play... I don't think we need to play the other colorless ones because we're only two color. Yeah. We don't need them as much. How about primeval bounty for the for the fun? For the fun, just it every creature make makes another beast. Yeah. Well, also the broken thing about that is for the one creature that counts. So it doesn't count for the cast one, but there's one that just cares about entering and it works with pack leader. It works with tribute to the world tree. So yeah. And, and the, the two other dudes you put in there. The, yeah, the flavor one. Yeah, it's really good. This uh, is very much for the flavor win. It also works in the deck. Yeah. Garuk Primal Hunter makes a 3-3 three, three beast. 
Garooks make beasts. Oh, we should probably play some of the Garooks. Let's show, I'm just going to tutor them. Uh, so the Primal Hunter is definitely uh, one of the best ones, yes. Uh, oh, there is Harbinger, yeah, it... but this is bad, right? It just gets a Planeswalker. Wait, should we play this? Trample? Oh, yeah. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's a creature. That's, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of those cards, but since it's of the tribe, then it seems it, it seems good. Uh, are any of these good? Is this new? Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put all creature cards revealed this way into your hand. The rest on the bottom, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a creature spell, search your library for a card. Nope. No, that, uh, that was an old one. Uh... In Grooswick? That's a good card, I've heard. Yeah. What is this thing? It's a rhino. <laughs> this thing's bad, right? It only gets uh, deals damage to a player planeswalker. Look at that many cards from the top of your library. Oh, no! It it gets any creature. So should we play this? Yeah, sure, because it, it, we can it could potentially enter as a 5-4 for two mana. Also, yeah, <laughs> that seems good. Just constantly. And it has Hexproof from Black. Kind of relevant sometimes. I think that's the oh only God. Baruch I want. Um, what? Contested Cliffs. It's never been a relevant card until now. <laughs> Re oh, my God. Target Beast feeds it, fights. Let's go. <laughs> Stop. Do we have to play Beastmaster's Ascension for the lulls? But I feel like it's not going to be that good in here, right? Unnatural growth is going to be better. Yeah. So the question is, do we run a... a uh, was it uh, Kindred Summoning? Kindred Summoning? Just play oh, every piece uh, of play. Yeah, why would we not? Also, is this a Rishkars and uh, Last March? Yeah, Last March is a little pricey. Try to keep it on the, the lower end. Are you going to make this? I might. I like Beasts. It's just cool that well, like, we hold on, because hold on. I think I need to read. Uh, I don't think we can play Return of the Wild Speaker, right? Hold on, I need to read it. I think it it's says non beast. No, it's non human. Right, because it worked with everything in. Okay, we can play that though. Yeah. Uh. Okay, no last march. It'll go in the maybe bar. Uh, but we definitely. I put. I think I put a. Uh, Zendikar Resurgent. We definitely want a Seasons Past and Balagad. Seasons Past. And Balagad. Uh, that's probably the only MDFC. Oh no! Is there a Gruul one we want to play? Um, is there any new ones that we want? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, there's Valakut Awakening, but I don't think we really need that. No, th this is like mostly a green deck with like so the Beast tiniest Whisper. hint of all black, of red. Beast Whisper, Guardian <laughs> Project. Remember, we two we have two extra card draws for beasts that we don't normally run. I'm assuming you don't want the Great, the great Hinge. Yeah, no. It's as great as it would be. Into the sideboard. But a Nyx Bloom Agent, though. That card wins games. Wow. 
these cards are really cheap. I mean, we haven't put the land based in yet, but. Well, yeah, no, because they're very specific. So because of how specific they are, they don't get as much attention. Like, look at that, that land that makes a, a tart. Imagine if that land was like. Look at this. Yeah. It's so cheap. And it's creator hoof is probably like a majority yes. of that. All right. So we definitely want a thought vessel. Uh, Royal Aquarius Tower. Oh, Karn's Bastion, because they do enter with counters on them, so we can randomly proliferate to just give a plus one to our whole board. Karn's Bastion? Like, continuously? Yeah. Yes. Uh, As a proliferate. Decanter. Okay. Before I forget, Command Tower. Path of Ancestry. I got that one, I'm pretty sure. All right. Do we want any, like, uh, wait, is this a, uh, Roaming Throne deck? I don't know if it works. It doesn't work with our commander's ability, except for the bottom one. It can work with some of the other stuff. No, it's a, tr this is a trigger, right? No, it's because it enters with a counter on it. Right. It's not. It's fine, then. Got Ubenwald Behemoth. It is expensive to, tr to transform it, but man, it's it's a good card though. Okay, uh, so heroic intervention. Uh, Druid of purification. No monkey. Uh, ancient. No silverback elder. Yo, he's creeping up in price. That's our boy. Uh, do you want the Frost Fang? You have to play Orin, right? Death yeah, Touch with it... all that trample? Yeah. That's fucking insane. That gets doo doo. Okay, stinky. you know what? Actually, it's called it's called uh, Dump Stomp. Is the MDFC? Target creature control deals damage equal to its power yeah, to a target that's, creature that's the card that's I was control. Yeah, that was the yeah. the card I was thinking. What is it called? Dump stomp? Stump stomp. This one. It's not coming up. Hold on. Yes, this. That was the card yeah. I was thinking of. Cool. Uh, Castle Gambrick? Yeah. Probably a Nykthos for sure. And we are mostly a green deck. Yes. I don't know if we have to run the artifact. I'll put it in the maybe board though. Uh, it's Nyx. Yeah, we're a green Lotus? deck. No. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Nyx Lotus. It could be good, but like we don't one hundred percent need it. Like Solvala and Solvala and like what else? Just run Sol Ring. What else? Yes, yeah, Sol Ring. And the Cultivate and Kodamas. Yes. And we play Rampaging, so we should maybe play some fetches. Uh, but we could play the budget ones. We don't have to play the expensive ones, because we're a two color deck. So Sol Ring, uh, Cultivate. Hold on. So Cultivate. Uh, Kodama. Harrow. Entish. Entish Restoration. Uh, then we can also do Spring Bloom. Because I just want to play all the ones they get, too, because we play Rampaging Baylots. Uh... Hey, speaking of, we could play that new one I just mentioned. Uh, um, I guess if I can find it again. Right, we put know. we put rampaging right. Yeah. As long as I edit it, yeah, he's right there. Uh, Sutina, speaker, uh, speaker of the Tajuru. So S U T. 
S U T. I one? yeah yeah. Cool. Only a dollar. Seems really good. People need to get on that shit. Archdruid charm for sure. That's a ramp. I won't hear anything else. Also, the fight is good in this deck. That's fun. Mm -hmm. We might actually use the fight spell. Uh, let's look. How's it looking? It's looking spicy. I don't think this needs to like an old gnaw bone. No. I also don't want to buy one. <laughs> Facts. Is there any more ramp? Hold on. Let's count the... Oh, I think I missed Sakura. Also, are you cool with playing like Doing like shit like this, like a fabled passage, and like a. This is just to make a. Do you want to just do like a vault, like really cheap ones, like the, um, Strixhaven ones, or like evolving wilds, or, well, we could do myriad um, landscape as one, yeah. and we could do blighted woodlands. Do you want to do that? Yeah. I also uh, like that. Was it the, the like the, was a cabaret courtyard or wherever those that, that those are. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which one that is. Yeah, let me let me look them up. Um, um, How much like is? What's the fetch land of this color? I just want to look up the price. Uh, is it? What if foothills? I just want to see how much it is. It's eleven dollars. You want to play that? I think you. I think you play it. All right. Wait, I think it just got. Is that a new? Yeah, Modern Horizons Three just got a reprint. Eleven dollars now. Nice. Okay, so we All have right, the so, color. Uh, How much? Hold on. Things. How much is prismatic? It's gotta be. This is probably even more than wooded foothills. Yep. Yeah. Into the maybe board. Um, Cabaretti courtyard. Thank you. Cab I think I only run that. One. No, yeah, that's, that's it. Because it's just it's the one that searches for forest storm or uh, a mountain. Mountain. Cabaretti. I think it's. Yeah. Yep. It's the double T that I forget <coughs> about always. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, then we just get forest. And mountain. I just want to count the ramp to make sure we're looking good. Okay, so three. Ooh. I I kind of want to run this. What is it? Gruel Rage Beast. It can be bad though. It's whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature fights target creature and opponent controls. Which is good until your opponent has like a really only one big creature left, and then it has to fight. Uh huh. Okay. That's but fine. that could be this like constant removal on big creatures because we are getting vigor in play. Just wait, yeah, just wait to play until vigor's in play. Yeah. Uh, did I add so pandrel? Yeah, that was one of the early things you put in. I just wanna. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we got three ramp. Uh, we got four. We got five, six, kind of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we got too much rant. Because over here we have a concept. 14. Yeah, we have the Silverback Elder. And then we have all these. But I'm not counting those. 
15, 16, 16 ramps. And if you count Myriad and Blighted, that's 18 sources of ramp. And we have two reducers with our commander and one other creature. Mm -hmm. So is it... What do we cut? Um... How many creatures do we have? How many creatures do we have? I know we are a creature base deck. Forty-one. Maybe Wait, maybe let's uh see how many. Oh, I didn't add all the lands. Sorry, we didn't right. do that. We didn't do the lands. All uh, right. Yeah. So forest. Uh oh, and mountain. Uh, Cinder glade is a pretty cheap one. Okay. Cinderglade, uh, mm. do we want to play the, uh, Cinderglade? Okay. Now we get to do Rootbound Crag. Do you want to play the Temple? Uh, well, you have Rockfall Veil is pretty inexpensive, too. Right, because they all got reprinted. Uh, Spire then, Garden's actually starting to get up there a little bit again. It's not terrible, though. Oh, we could play it. It's still eight bucks. How much is Stomping Room? It's not too bad, either. Do you want to play it? Yeah. Okay. We uh, do sheltered Thick. Sheltered Okay. Uh... The Painland, Carplusian. Yeah. Uh, and then what's the filter? It's uh, uh fire lit, fire lit yes. thicket. It's actually the most expensive, I think, of all the lands for the deck so far. Uh, it hasn't. It's not a reprint. Don't, in the we don't have to play it. Maybe board. We could just um, we could play like a temple. It's abandoned, right? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, Shelter Thicket is the bicycle land. I think that... I think you sent me that one. I think I put that one. Okay. Did you? Hold on. Yes. You told me that one already. Um, commercial District is the surveil land. Is it expensive? Uh, it's the least expensive. Okay. Because it's the, out of all the colors, it's the one it's that the probably does the, the worst for the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, I think we might just go basics that are okay. tutorable with stuff. Okay. Yeah, because we need a lot of we play we're playing a lot of ramps, so I'm assuming it's mostly green. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's uh, like it's literally just a because all the good beasts are mostly just green. There's a few little sprinkles of red. Actually, it's also probably counting this, which is not really a. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Yeah. This is a hidden green commander. Okay, so a lot of those. How many are we at? Okay, hold on. We do need to add some mountains. Uh, yeah, I think three is fine. 35. Oh, wait, we have one MDFC. Oh, two. We have two. Uh, then cut one mountain, one forest. I'm thinking, how much do we care about Bash? I mean, I guess Bastion will be good. Uh, oh, can we cut the cavern? I don't want to buy another cavern or proxy cavern. This is more for funsy build. Okay. Well, there's a three tree city in here, though. So, <laughs> but this is better. So it's better than a cavern nowadays. Okay, so that's 34 lands plus 2 MDFC, so that's good. Uh, do I feel like we're playing enough tutorable basics? Uh, we have 9 forests and 3 mountains. That's 12 tutorables? I guess that's fine. And and a few uh, it, with a, a few actual mountain forests. I think there's 3 of them currently. Yes, but only one card can get them, I think. Yeah, sorry, the, the, I, fetch, I, the fetch land and what what else? I guess we cut the 
temple and play another forest. Okay. Because I want to just, you know, have enough. Because mm -hmm. even the lands are being... We're playing fetch lands as well. So I want to have enough. Uh, yeah, everything else is good. Okay. All right. Let's look at the count now. What? One card. Are you serious? Uh, I think we just cut hold one. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did we? We're just programmed it. We're just programmed in. Because usually we have more artifacts. I think is our issue. No, we don't play more artifacts in. Or no, in right. not not mono we... green. Uh, uh, still, I still fit green, right? pieces in and. Uh, Tom, it's green red. Uh, Sorry, yeah, green red. Uh, Are you sure? How about now? <laughs> All right, shit, mono green. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they put the red in there. They give you some options. And it's like, no. do you need it? Yeah, it looks like everything's in. Yeah, there's the rich cars. There's the yeah. Okay, we just cut our Nathos. No, I'm kidding. We're we're just that good. Wow. I think we cut one ramp because you said we had like 18. Yeah, we have a lot. I want to keep the ones that get two for the Baylor. Mm -hmm. And this can get anything. Well, we're not cutting charm. That's just the no, card's fucking no. insane. I think all this stays too. Yeah, I'm not cutting any of the enchantments. Definitely not Zopandril. Definitely not any of the beasts. Uh, it... Is, is no, it Steve? No, no, it's definitely not what. You know, I was actually thinking Steve. Because all the other ones stay in play. Remember, we also have the new three-drop creature that ETVs yes. that gets us on land. Yeah, so I think it is Steve, actually, weirdly enough. Because right. uh, we, cool, we, cool cool we actually have removal here. Uh, we have removal with the Starix as the, well. Also, the uh, We have the Gem Razor. Razor. We have the Silverback Elder. We have Elder Guard. Oh, no, he doesn't remove. Oh, but there's another creature that when we ETBs does it. Yeah, there's this one. Or no, that's Art. the... It gets a card. Uh, Gem the, Razor. The, the this is removal. is removable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Incridge Stomp Paddler up there. Yes, that's, that does that's it. removal. Manglehorn. Yes, Manglehorn, obviously. And it's Loot also... is also really cool if we can actually use it. Loot is also extra land drops. is cool. Yes. Uh... I think that rampaging is going to get out of yeah. hand. Because you want to know what else is stupid? He makes beasts. Yeah, they, so then this high will fives. also draw, which is why I extra wanted to play everything that's lands. Obviously, this yeah. is an exception. Because it's just going to make a fuck ton of mana. Saw, saw Tusk is a removal. Silverback is a removal. And not only is Elder Gargaroth a beast, but he makes beasts. Yeah. Which actually could be a little bit more relevant in this deck, too. Mm-hmm. And cool this, deck. yeah, salt tusk. Yep. Uh, keep going down. Um. Yeah, spellbreaker means uh creatures can't be countered. Some of the creatures can't be countered. Plus one, plus one, trample and haste. Let's go. Yep. Is woodland bellower good in here? Okay. Yes, because it gets all the let's three drops the, to draw cards. Yeah, let's just count the... So, one, two, three, uh, four, five... It gets Zilvala. That's insane. Yeah. Six. Worth it for that. Seven. Eight. Eight. Also, remember, it's going to cost... Uh, oh. It's going to cost four. It also nine, gets that piece, too, which is really nine, good. Uh, ten. Eleven. Yeah, eleven cards. And, and a lot of them are... regardless, it's gonna cost four. So for yeah. that at that like cost, like yes, it's gonna be good. Uh this is a cool little this is a cool little deck. Uh hold on. Did <laughs> I get the draw? So beasts were Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, let's yeah. give it let's give it a shot. Let's 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 try. Beastie boys, beast mode coming in. Okay. All lands uh, and no ramp and a yeah. gem razor. Yeah, this is a mulligan. This deck needs well, ramp. I, now I like how that I like how it didn't move. Okay, there's a wood elves. Okay, we can try this one. We can All try right. this, because we got a wood elves. 
Uh, so I think we just start with the stomping ground. Uh, oh, God. Stop drawing <laughs> high-costed cards. Uh, and then we could just play the forest, I guess. Uh, and then we draw, and then we go with the Rockfall Veil, and we go Woody. Or, is he three? No, he's five. No. So but let's play go next turn. Wood Elves into one of the tap lands. Like the Felter, like probably the Sheltered, right? Yeah. Or actually, because that could still be useful for cycling. Um, we get but the, the other land. one can enter untapped if we have basics, right? Well, yeah, I'm saying we get the Surveil Land. Um, oh, right, we can get the Surveil Land. I forgot we're playing it. We don't normally play it because yeah. it's expensive, but... Uh, com commercial District. Commercial, thank you. Yes, let's get that one. And let's take a peek. This is, this is literally its job. Uh, yeah. Take a peek off the top, Surveil one. So shuffle first to the bottom. Yeah, we got two lands in here. Oh, hand. sorry, 